This is day five, episode 11 of my modular journey. And today we're talking about randomizers. The two randomizers I picked up early was the Lattic Random Trigger Gate and the Lattic Skipper. I'll, t- I'll talk about these one at a time here. So the random trigger gate is basically a, a utility that uh, takes a clock in and then the, each pulse of the clock, it will randomly generate uh, three triggers or three gates. The length of time for the three triggers is configurable by the jumper right here on the back. I think you can see that. Uh, I have it set to, I think, a half the length of a gate right now because uh, I don't really use triggers right now. I'm kind of more into uh, gate things. So... Um, Anyway, but but you can have it up to like one millisecond in speed, uh, or or part of you know the length of whatever the gates are. So the random uh, the random clock also generates three three alternate gates, and and each one of them it could be different. So that's why it's it's a random. Uh, oh, there's also this disable jack at the top. So if you send a like a off gate to that, uh, it'll actually turn off all the gates or leave them in their mode depending on on what uh, ju- the jumper is set to here. So. Uh, also very configurable for such a small thing. The random gate was about uh, $93 US. Uh, I bought it from the Czech Republic, from Lattic.eu. Uh, the next module, also from Lattic, was uh, is this thing called the Skipper. So it's the S090 by Lattic. Uh, and the Skipper is uh, similar to what we saw over there in Pamela's new workout, where uh, basically it takes, a again, a gate in, or a signal in, and then depending on on the, the level of percentage you set here between zero and 100, uh, it, will, it will engage this out jack. So it's, it's called a probability skipper because uh, you know, set here at 50%, for instance, it'll be 50% of the time it may trigger <laughs> an out. And, and it's a dual channel, so you got two of them. I can have one at 25, one at 75, and, and have two different, different signals you know, triggering something. Um, it could be anything from uh, from voices or uh, recording, like a like a tape looper or uh, some kind of a digital effect. Like I can turn monsoons freeze on, uh, you know, twenty five percent of the time, uh, which is the kind of demos I'll, I'll do for these when I get them in the rack. So let's uh, let's put them in. Uh, I guess before I mount uh, before I mount the skipper, I should mention there's jumpers on this one too that change the behavior of the randomness. It's like either clusters or regular normal uh, normal randoms where they're synced together. I, I want these to be separate as much as possible and to be as random as possible. So I, I took the jumpers and disabled them. They're just hanging off the edge there. Uh, and last thing I will say is these are really deep, and it must be because they're so narrow. But man, they're deep, so they, they don't really slide back and forth very good in this rack. So uh, I have to find a place for them, and that's where they got to live forever. I, I've moved a few things around because I couldn't stand seeing cables, ribbon cables everywhere. Uh, my OCD was freaking out. So now I've got uh, plates uh, slammed up over here. The random skipper and trigger gate are over here. Um, you see marbles and rings have found their home down here. Uh, these guys are still drifters. Not sure where they're going to go yet until we get some more stuff in the rack. Uh, so powering on. So for the first uh, first bit of demo, I guess I can... Let's turn up the sound and see what we get. So I'm going to change this a little bit. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Pamela's uh, gate signal that used to go into level. I'm going to stick it up here into the uh, random trigger. So this is my clock in, and then I'm going to use uh, gate out to then control the level of, of uh, plates. So I'm going, to, I'm going to start this up, and, uh, and we'll, every time this little light bleeps, uh, we should hear a sound. And not until... So you're seeing all it really is doing is it's turning on and off the gate. So if I take this now and put it into one of the triggers, it, it'll just be shorter. Because as you know, triggers are short pulses, whereas gates are open and closed. Um, I happen to have these three triggers set to half the length of a gate. 
So when when random trigger randomly decides which one of these it's going to turn on, it also randomly decides how long it's going to open. So uh, basically, there's just a whole bunch of math going on here. Math that's way smarter than me. So uh, that's the end of that part uh, for random trigger. Now I'm going to I'm going to hop this over into Skipper and uh, and watch some even even more random goodness. So now I'm going to take. Uh, let me see if I could take a gate. I think it's a gate that comes out of here and goes into here. And now you see outs are both lit up. So now I'm gonna take this, uh, this same wire here and plug it into the out. Sound comes on. So 100% of the time, but now I'm gonna turn it down to like 25% of the time. So what, what, what's really going on here is now we have two layers of randomness. I have this random that comes on, and then I have this random now saying, okay, so 25% of the time this guy comes on, I'm going to allow signal to go through. So imagine, imagine the slow, super slow ambient evolving patches that benefit from this kind of randomness. And that is uh, exactly why I picked up these two modules, is because they add, not only is there random in Pamela's, there's random here, there's random here, there's random in marbles. You're starting to see a pattern here, right? So this is why uh, the two Lattic modules were added to the rack. And this is exactly how I plan to use them. So that's it for episode 11, uh, Lattic randomizers. Uh, Next up, I will talk about the Mordax data. So stay tuned for that.